AAA is expecting more than 38 million Americans will avoid the airports by driving to their holiday destinations. That's 700,000 more than last year and the most since 2005. Drivers are paying the lowest Memorial Day gas prices in 11 years. The national average is $2.32 a gallon for regular. That's 43 cents less than last year. GasBuddy.com senior consumer analyst Vera Gibbons joins us now with more. Good morning. Good morning to you, Vera. So we are seeing the cheapest gas pump prices in over a decade this Memorial Day weekend. We've got 38 million Americans, though, heading out on the roads. Is it all about the low gas prices? It's going to be very busy on the yeah. roads, yes. In large part, it is about the low gas prices. As you mentioned, we're over 40 cents cheaper than we were same time a year ago. This is a very low Memorial Day average. The 10-year Memorial Day average is $3.15, so we're well below that. So I think people definitely want to take advantage of that. Combine that with a factor that there's some pent-up demand, the improving economy, job growth is kicking in, and you've got unusual factors at play as well. This year in particular, you've got concerns about the Zika virus, you've got terrorism fears, people don't want to go to Europe necessarily, they'd rather go closer to home, mm -hmm. and you've got these ridiculously long lines at the airports, and that has people thinking, why not take that road trip? Yeah, I'd rather sit in my car with the air conditioning. <laughs> but, so but oil prices have been going up a little bit, though. Yeah. Do, we th do we think gas prices are going to stay this low all summer? Well, when oil goes up, gas goes up right along with it, and they have been ticking up. But nevertheless, we are projecting that gas prices will stay in the range of 215 to 250 this summer. On average, that's a very attractive price, the lowest summer prices we've actually seen since 2005. So this has a lot of people thinking, let's just do it. We actually did a survey. And over 75% say they will be traveling this summer, which is an uptick of over 2%, 2.2%. The vast majority, 79%, say they will be traveling by car. So it's mm -hmm. the summer of the road trip. 36% sure. say they're going to take at least two road trips. Wow. And, and, and the majority are going to be traveling at least 400 miles or more on average. So it's going to be very, very, very busy. At the, the same road. time, airfare prices are actually pretty attractive, too. I was surprised at this. Right. They're at a seven-year low. So a lot of people are flying, too. We've got, what, 95,000 more passengers per day going out of our airports, wow. which to me means avoid those airports. <laughs> but, yes, people are taking advantage of the low fares. And if you are traveling internationally, it's a great time to go international because of the strength of the U.S. dollar. So people are getting great airfares. And then once they land, they're great, getting great deals on everything from restaurants to hotels to souvenirs. So it's a great time to drive and it's a great time to fly as well. All right, a lot of company out there on the roads yeah. and in the airports as well. Vera <laughs> Givens, thanks so much. Thanks,